rash of school threats over the past few days led to some arrests, and now we've got a rash of court appearances about to get underway. Chris 6 News reporter Sylvia Martinez joins us from the Juvenile Justice Center with details. Mike, those hearings began just a few moments ago. Actually, inside the courtroom, the students lined up in front of the judge. They were handcuffed at their hands and at their feet. Of course, all of this happening inside County Court Number 5. That is where the juvenile cases are heard. Now, 10 juvenile suspects have been detained in connection with the school threat. Six of those are the ones in court today. The purpose of these hearings is to figure out what happens next. Some juveniles may be ordered to undergo a mental health evaluation, while some may be able to remain in custody. They could spend two weeks to a month in a small cell, and others could be sent to an alternative school. So each case is different. Now, of course, the courtroom that I was in earlier is packed with ancient, uh, anxious parents and family members and I spoke to the judge earlier and he said he was surprised to see so many kids being detained for these school threats. Sylvia Martinez, KRIS 6 News.